Hi everyone, I'm Gina and today we're going to be looking at hyperventilation versus hypoventilation and how they affect blood pH. Before we jump in, there are some relationships that I want to clarify to make this whole process a little bit easier to understand. The first one is the relationship between carbon dioxide and oxygen. They have an inverse relationship. So as one concentration increases, the other decreases and vice versa. Similarly, the relationship between protons and hydroxide is also an inverse relationship. The last relationship that I wanna look at is between carbon dioxide and protons. They have a direct relationship. So as one concentration increases, the other increases and vice versa. Let's look at hyperventilation first and how it affects the blood buffer equation and how it will eventually affect pH of the blood. Hyperventilation means to excessively breathe. And so when you're hyperventilating, your O2 concentration increases. Because of this inverse relationship that I had mentioned earlier, the concentration of carbon dioxide is going to decrease. Next, we'll look at the blood buffer equation, and according to Le Chatelier's principle, as the concentration of the reactants decreases, so will the concentration of the products. This shows the direct relationship between carbon dioxide and protons, and our concentration of protons is going to decrease. Now looking at this inverse relationship, because we have a low concentration of protons, we must have a high concentration of hydroxide. When you have a high concentration of hydroxide, the pH increases. When the pH is high, it is higher up on the pH scale, meaning that you are in a more basic environment, also indicated by the high hydroxide concentration. Now for hypoventilation, everything is the opposite. So you're breathing very slowly, so your oxygen concentration is going to decrease. And because of this inverse relationship, carbon dioxide concentration is going to increase. Due to Le Chatelier's principle, as the concentration of the reactants increases, so does the product. So the concentration of protons is going to increase. This proves the direct relationship that we mentioned here. Since we have a high concentration of protons, that usually indicates a low pH and that we are in an acidic environment. Now when choosing between acidosis or alkalosis, the body is in acidosis because of the acidic condition of the blood. 